we're dirty van lifers. Yes, I said it. We're dirty van lifers. Look at what we're doing today. We're at Sunnydale Park on Mother's Day. Guess what I get to do for special things for Mother's Day? Guess what I get to do for Mother's Day? Such a special Janet, treat. Janet. I get to do laundry. I found some more. <laughs> really? Really? This, this is what I put up with Happy on Mother's a daily Day. basis for our van life. So yes, we are in the middle of, we're getting set. We're going to be leaving um, in about a week and a half to go to Europe for a bit. So we're just going through cleaning all our sheets, doing everything we can. Yeah, that's nice. On the clean sheets, Rob. Thank you. Wow. Um, we're organizing all our stuff. Look at the mess in here. Look at this mess. Oh, I bought some shoes. <laughs> Costco. Um, so look at the mess in here. This is what we're doing. This is this is real van life, guys. I have to have a shower too. It's been three days. So we're doing our sheets. We're cleaning up everything, you know, airing out our pillows, just um, making sure we've got uh, everything cleaned out for the next little bit. And um, yeah, laundry day. This, this is how fun it is. We've got a huge bag here we use for our laundry. It's full. If you look at it, <laughs> it's pretty full, <laughs> pretty big bag. And I'm organizing it up here. I uh, sorted out in kind of darks and lights for the most part. And uh, we've got all our pillows and everything up here. And uh, sorry for the crappy filming. Um, just getting everything ready. So hopefully you guys are having a great day. I need a shower. Look how yucky I am. That's how we live. And we love it. Rob? Have you finished making the bed yet? Are you a good boy? <laughs> That's a different question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're going to maybe do another coffee in the van. Maybe before we head out, we are thinking of doing... What else are we going to do, Rob? Oh, we're going to maybe do a test live stream to see if we can get that to work. And... What else oh maybe cooking we're gonna start a new cooking segment but maybe not till we get back from europe we're, we're just still deciding on that but we've got a cool idea for a cooking segment um that's about it for for now guys so this is how rob makes the bed oh. it's a little tricky <laughs> he climbs up on the back kind of balances and puts the curtains up there out of the way oh we strip yeah. it inside <laughs> we strip it inside and then rob uh gets it uh, we kind of lift up all the foam and strip the bed and then make it most of it in the inside and then he kind of finishes it tugging it from the outside there but he has to lift the curtains out of the way uh in order to kind of be able to make that before we tuck them back yeah, in again i gotta snug it up snug yeah. it up make it nice and, and tight the, the rest of it we can do on the inside yeah. but it's just getting that last bit so it's kind of hard to reach and then we have our drying uh thing up there too the clothesline, that, the clothesline that we use for in the winter time, we put our, hey, don't close that, I'm talking. We put our sleeping bag there <laughs> that gives me extra insulation. And then also uh, he'll sometimes use it to hang up uh, towels for them to dry and that kind of thing after we've had showers. Right? <laughs> to the laundromat. On. So, dirty boy. <laughs> we're, off, we're off the laundromat. We're getting our stuff done. Look at this pile. Look at this pile of laundry. <laughs> we left it in a long time this time. This is everything here. Washed it in three good sized loads. And our home's out there. This is how you fold. Like this. Like this. Easy. I don't need a special little machine or a little device to fold my clothes on. Rob, you're not the best folder in the world, but you're very particular about folding one particular item. Okay, hold on. Little pocket weight. Demonstrate again, just to make sure. Mm -hmm. So you get the underwear. You tuck it in. You 
You tuck it all in like a nice little package. A package for your package. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Another tip, what we do when we do our laundry, we actually wash our uh, grocery bags. So when we, um, when we throw in our wash, we'll just throw our grocery bags in with it. And then we have clean grocery bags to put our clothes in to take back to the van. So it kind of works out well for us. Right? Right. Here's all Rob's rags. Hey, Rob. What's new? <laughs> another day, another day. Another dollar. Another day, another dollar, another yeah, dollars. for the machines. That's right. <laughs> Here's another tip what we do. So if you have a look here, I'll let Rob demonstrate this time. We have uh, a, a <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so we have, <laughs> really? So we have, yeah, okay. Anyways, we have a uh, pillow cover from an old pillow case or pillow we used to have. Yeah. And we use these in the van for winter jackets, for blankets, for extra things, but we also use them for our extra set of sheets. So we have two sets of sheets. We always have one set clean to put on the bed. And then when we go do laundry, we take that sheet set off and we wash them and we put, we, re we just uh, replace them and put them into this and it becomes a pillow. So we shove it all in there and it's a little bit heavy, but it's a pillow and put away just the same. So we don't have to find another place to put our, our uh, sheets. And actually look at that real time. I spoke and you did it all in that much time. That's how little time it took. No editing, nothing. No! You're not filming our mess over here, are you? Probably. Anyways, after you lovingly fold your clothes, then you take them and you roll them like this and you put them in like this. Normally this is pretty full, but we've gone through a lot of our clothes. So like this, are you filming down here, Rob? Showing what I'm doing down here? Yes? Fold like this and tuck it in here like this and then when you're all done I get about 12 t-shirts in here when I'm all done just keep rolling like this and then they're easy to grab too I can grab them straight out everything is a mess I know a lot of people like packing cubes but the packing cubes to me um, you have to take the whole thing out to get everything I can grab one t-shirt at a time and it kind of makes it a lot easier and then I put um, other items over here and pants and stuff like that so it works for us so here's the finished product with all my t-shirts in there so they line up really nicely. I've added a couple new colors to my collection because I found I was wearing all the same ones. And uh, can't film the other way because Rob's peeing. <laughs> <laughs> and then for a few items that I don't put in the dryer, oh my gosh, for the few items I do, I'm leaving this in. For the few <laughs> items I don't put in the dryer, I hang them to dry. It's a pretty nice sunny day today, so they'll be dry pretty quickly. And Look what me got. Oh my gosh, Rob, I can't use that. <laughs> Oh, now you farted on top of it. Oh my gosh. Put on the fan, please, and sanitize. Good lord. Oh, no, the sanitizer's back there. This one's empty. There's enough for me. I don't believe you have any. I think you're just making it up. Don't touch me. And you didn't t have sanitizer on that part you touched me with. <laughs> what part was that? I'm not even using that part. That was just too far gross. Don't knock my jeans. Anyways, this is the loving family van. So... <laughs> Here's uh, all my, my t-shirts put away. I still have a few more things to put away, but we have to actually be somewhere to see family. So we're gonna head out, but I um, uh, hope you've enjoyed. Oh, let's see if I can do this. I hope you've enjoyed watching us with our bit of a family laundry day. I don't know. Uh, yeah. we, we forgot to show the part about like the bags we had, we kind of, um, Separated all the laundry, put it into three bags, took it all in, did our laundry, and then uh, just kind of showed from the folding part. But it doesn't take long, about an hour and a half maybe to do everything start to finish. So yeah. it actually works kind of well. When we first got into the van, we thought we we're going to hate laundromats. We'd yeah. never been to one. And we're used to the nice big capacity washer and dryers. And we actually don't mind going to the laundromat. It's a little bit of a cost. Usually costs us maybe about 12 bucks. Yeah, 12, 12, 12, 12 to 15 yeah, depending 12, on this time we probably closer to 15 because we had a lot of laundry like a lot of laundry yeah. um but normally about anywhere from yeah. 10 to 15 dollars to only, do all of our laundry we only do it every two months two maybe about every two weeks usually yeah two sometime weeks. about that yeah so um that's it hope you enjoyed our laundry day van life laundry
I hope we're in this because I don't even know for sure. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know. Okay. I have to check it back. <laughs> Rob, what are you doing? I'm making the bed. What are you doing? I'm making the bed. Look, I got a cat. Rob, <laughs> you're not making the bed. I'm making it on the spot. <laughs> <laughs>